we got something Russian for you, buddy! Now! How's it going? Welcome back to my channel. I'm your host, Steve Ricardo. What's shaking? Uh, Nostrovia. Hey, from Russia. It's good times. Hey. Um, hails from Vancouver, British Columbia. Hope you guys are doing good. If you're new to this channel, subscribe, man. Subscribe and smash the like. That would be awesome. Share the video with all, uh, Share the video with all your friends. Um, yeah, that's really much it. Thank you. Thank you for being here. This is cool. Um, I have a hard time pronouncing the name. I apologize because it's such a unique name. Konani Kihin. Guitars. Based out of Russia. Uh, great independent company. Uh, I love the sticker on the back. This is from Russia. Um, it's, it's awesome. Um, this is the... Breed 21, so a little bit about the company. They release batch of these batches of these guitars, and they call them Breed 1 to 30 to 40, whatever that would be. So this is Breed 21. I think right now they're in the 40s or something like that. I did order one. I ordered, uh, which is really cool. Um, I can't remember the top of my head, but it was, a, it was a black. You could see the green, and it was a single coil pickup. And volume and it was awesome this I happened to run across through marketplace and the price is really good I went you know what I'm yeah let's pick one up I love the reverse headstock it's really cool it's uh, it's neat it's 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 a nice playing guitar it's balanced really well I had to do a little bit of work on it because the previous owner um, yeah I just shit the bed on it it was pretty bad it was pretty bad a lot of cleanup to do and get the strings all proper height and everything else. I threw new strings on here. So I'm running 13 to 60s right now on this. Um, I just wanted to try something out. So I went, yeah, let's, let's put on some 13 to 60s and see what she does. <laughs> Let's run through this. So this is the, uh, yeah, <laughs> having a brain fart, dude. Uh, this is the uh, the bridge pickup. <laughs> Let's go to the middle. And let's go to the neck. said um let me read a little bit about the company uh and this guitar while you look at some close-up video of uh the guitar right totally you got what i mean right okay let's do this so the guitar of course russian made oh russian company so this is how they got on their website this is from surf 
to indie rock to old good metal. Again, with Ultimate uh, Kanonikihin, yeah, Kanonikihin, I really apologize for that. Uh, Breed 21 model. This is the 21 model. Uh, here we combined incompatible and a result for you to get in, um, a universal instrument of classic core and contemporary feel. Versatile enough to be played in front of gentlemen and in front of mosh pits, boys. Um, so what's this thing's got? It's got 22 frets, reverse headstock, which I think is really cool, and I wish more companies would do reverse headstocks more often. Uh, the body is basswood, maple neck. The fretboard, they say it's black wood. Right, what kind of wood though? Uh, unless that's a thing, I'll do some more research on it. Uh, Alnico humbuckers, three-way switch, white satin finish on this particular model, and a 60s style bridge. Um, so like I said, they release a model, right? And then, that's it. So they've got, I think, 20 or 30, I'm not sure. I'm just guessing. So they got a batch of guitars for each breed that comes out. And as they come out, you buy them and that's it. So they've got guitar players worldwide. I've seen a lot of the representatives in the, um, who represent the company. Really good. So this is now mine since I bought it. And what I've done is basically, I'll sort of side camera here, is I went ahead and did the dime bag on the volume knob. So a little bit of, I got a video on how to do that. So basically, I just grabbed a soldering gun and then poked into the plastic knob, and I get a little bit of a grip. So, you guys want to hear some... Uh it's got a great feel. I really like it a lot. So, it's not bad. I mean, the neck has kind of a satiny feel to it. I would maybe suggest sanding it down a little bit, but it's not bad. Um, I'm not sure what the other gentleman who had it before me did to it, but I did a little bit of fix up on it, uh, tightened up the strings, and fixed the bridge a little bit. So, because she was a little bit beat up. But the finish is great. I like the matte white. Yeah. <laughs>
Boom. Absolutely. Right, 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 right. Not bad. I really like actually playing with this. When I first got it, I was like, man, I got a little bit of work to do with this thing. And you know, the guy just basically he treated it like shit. And no guitar should be treated like shit. Absolutely not. So, yeah, there you have it. I took it home, brought it home, gave it some life, and the life drastically just came out of it. Um, the wiring's not bad. I opened up the compartment and everything else. Not a bad job, considering I'm not sure, you know, what, what's going to happen with the company as they evolve and they get more stuff out there. Um, which shipping? So I'm in Canada. So when I got my other one, generally if you're not endorsed by them, you're looking at six ninety nine, seven hundred dollars for U.S. U.S. price. So for Canada, that's like, whoa, what the hell? I could buy a new car with that. Not bad. The the price I paid for this for used, I ain't complaining about it. So, um, and this is an unbiased review because I like to try different things out, and I really like the impress. You know, I'm impressed with the guitar. I really am. Um, I like. This is almost, this is something um, Jim Root could use, possibly. You know, it's got that feel, it's got that look for Jim Root from Slipknot. And, uh, but I, I gotta admit, I love the reverse headstock. You know, take, take note of this, Jackson and Charvel. Reverse headstocks, man, that's where it at. Very 80s feel to it, I love it. So, yeah, that's the review. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, check out the website, I'll put the website down below in the link. And, Search around if anybody's got some used ones for sale, and if not, hit up the company, because they're really, really a cool company. I'm getting tangled here with my cables, but um, yeah, they're, they're awesome. I contacted them through uh, Instagram, and they were, they were right on it, email right away. Hey, how can we help you? We got some cool stuff. Check out the stuff. Um, so I'm excited to get my guitar from them. Absolutely, looking forward to it. And when I get it, I'll do a full-on review on it, for sure. So yeah, check out the <laughs> guitar company. You guys will be, uh, I like it, pleasantly surprised. I really do. Got a cool feel to it. Looks cool. Looks fucking cool. So, I have been Steve. Thanks for watching this review. Hope it helped. Go check out the company. All right. Mm.